to today's video and welcome to my craft area in my bedroom. This is a very special place because it's where I come to create my ideas. So if I have a creative idea in my head and I want to make it, I will come here. But it's also a special place because this is where I come to read my Bible every day and to spend time with God. So you are very welcome, come on in. And if you would like to create this craft for your mommy or granny or whoever you're thinking of today, then all you will need is the following tools. <laughs> Okay, so now that we have everything we could possibly need to create this craft, we need to make sure that we have our card or our paper ready to make the perfect fold, okay? So you're gonna grab your piece of paper and you can do this in two different ways. You can just take your piece of paper like so and fold it in half and then press it down the middle or if you find sometimes that the fold kind of goes a little bit dodgy and you can't get it right, I have a perfect hack for you to follow. So if you want a little tip, listen up. folded piece of paper or card every time. So once you've got your card ready and it's okay, it's folded in half, we're gonna set that to one side and we're gonna move on to step two. Okay, so step two is drawing your design or anything you're gonna put on your card. So today I'm going to draw some peas because you saw that in the card at the start. So I need something to trace around because I'm not perfect at drawing circles. So you'll need a pencil and if you're like me, you'll need something to trace around. So I have just grabbed a Vaseline lip balm because it's circular and it's perfect for my drawing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my piece of green card I have and I'm gonna trace around the circle. So let's do that together. Okay, so here we go. Ooh, a ready? There we go, look at that perfect, well, nearly perfect circle. So I'm just gonna do that a few times, maybe get three or four of them, and then I'm going to use my scissors to cut around them. So, let's do that now. Hi boys and girls, Flossie and Ellie here, just reminding you the importance of scissor safety. Always use scissors when you're around an adult and you have permission of an adult to use the scissors. Okay, are you ready to make some craft floss? Let's go! Okay, so now that I have my perfect circular peas cut out and ready to stick, I need to grab my piece of card from earlier. So as you can see, I have changed from the white paper to a blue piece of card. I just like a little bit of color, but if you only have white paper, that's okay. It'll look great. Maybe you could color the card in to make it a little bit fancier. Whatever you want to do is your choice. But now I have a very important decision to make. I need to choose if this is my front and this is my back, or the other way round. So I'm gonna decide that this is my front piece of my card, so when my mummy opens her card, it's gonna open up like this. But you can do it this way if you like to, whatever way you want it to go. Okay, so if this is my front piece of card, I have that down in the table. Here are my three peas. And a very important decision that you have to make is where you want to place your peas. So this might be the time to grab your peas, to put them on the card, to shuffle them around to know where you want to stick them and once you have your perfect spot you're going to go and you're going to grab your glue stick or whatever you have to stick those pieces of card to your bigger piece of card and then get stuck in. And a really really helpful tip that I have learned over the years is, you see the way my circles have marks on the back of them? 
I don't really want my mummy to see that bit. So I'm going to stick this side to the bottom of my blue piece of card. So when my mummy sees my piece, she just sees three perfect circles. Okay, let's go and glue that now. And there we go, it is stuck on. Okay, you can see something pretty obvious. I've added a little green sack and that's because sometimes peas don't always come circular from shops, do they? They come in little green sacks where they grow. And so I thought to make my three peas super comfy, I would make a little sack for them to sit in. And all I did is I went back to my piece of green card from earlier. I drew out a little boat image as you see here. And then I cut it out and stuck it to my piece of card. So now what I'm gonna do is my peas look a bit lonely and to be honest you wouldn't really know that they're peas right now so I'm gonna make some smiley faces on my little pea faces and I'm going to add some hearts maybe a little sentence up here just to say happy Mother's Day so I'm gonna go do that you can make your card as creative as possible and then we will rejoin together as we finish our final step <music> it my finished card my happy mother's day card pretty simple for you to follow along and you can make this card too but one thing we haven't done yet is to decide what we're going to put in the inside of our card now you can do many different things but what i chose to do is i chose to share a awesome bible verse with my mum and it's from first corinthians chapter 13 verse 8 and it says love never fails and it's a great reminder for my mum to follow in those times where I might be a bit angry and a bit cross with my mum I want her to know that really deep down my love for her never changes I still love her so much and I also want a reminder of how much God loves her too so there you go, that is my happy Mother's Day craft card idea that you can make for your mummy too. But if peas are just not your thing and you would like to make something else, we have some more suggestions for you to follow in the description box. So go and check that out under this video. But all there's left to say is have a very special Mother's Day. Say happy Mother's Day from me to your mummy or your granny. And I hope that if you make this card, you'd like to share it with me because I love to see your creations and you can do that by emailing me at kids at omacommunitychurch.com. Until next time!